Hey guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel for Creepy Crafty Days, where I share a video every single day this month. For today's project, I'm sharing a candy corn themed bag flip that I think you guys will really like, so stay tuned to see what supplies are needed and how to make this. I'm using a lot of Tombow products today, including the Tombow Extreme Tabs and Adhesive Runner, some Tombow Mono Plus Adhesive, a mono twin and a twin tone in yellow. You'll need a dark and a light shade of purple as well as a yellow and an orange Tombow dual brush pen and a spritzer bottle because we're going to do some watercoloring. To make the background watercolor papers for our bag flip, you'll need to get your two purple pens, some mixed media paper taped down on a chipboard, your spritzer bottle, paper towel, and a plastic baggie. Um, go ahead and dab your two colors onto the plastic bag as randomly and as muchly as you want. Um, spritz the water all over the paper so it's nice and damp, then put your hand in the bag and smush it all over the wet paper. And you'll set this aside to dry between layers, but just keep building up the color until it's the color that you want. So I went for more of a dark purple, which you'll see in a little bit. I'm also going to be making a candy corn die cut, so I have some 4x6 photo paper, the plastic bag, the spritzer, as well as the yellow and the orange dual brush pen. In the middle of the bag, draw a large section of orange and then repeat with the yellow right underneath it. And then grab your spritzer bottle, spray the bag pretty thoroughly so the colors are nice and damp, and then dip the glossy side of your photo paper into the colors and you should end up with a really pretty gradient that's perfect for candy corn, as you can see here. I also wanna include some crepe paper wands, so you'll need some scissors, a paper straw, crepe paper, a stapler, and Tombow Extreme tabs. Get your crepe paper and start creating a rosette with it. Go all the way around and then staple it into place and then you'll want to cut off the excess. Next, grab your Tombow Extreme tabs, a die cut of your choice, I'm using the little candy corn and your paper straw. Press down one end of the paper straw so it's nice and flat, and then go ahead and staple it into place on the back of your rosette. On the back of your die cut, go ahead and add some of the Tombow Extreme tabs, peel off the backing, press into place, and you're done. So at this point it's time to start assembling our bag flip. I'm using a purple bag from the Dollar Tree that I cut the handles off of and I'm going to use the Tombow Extreme adhesive to adhere down the watercolor pieces of paper that we just created onto some black cardstock that are acting as mats. Um, so I'm just doing that for both the small kind of bottom part of the bag as well as the top part. And then once that's completed I'm going to go ahead and mat the combined paper layer layers, whatever, um, onto my bag. So I did like the purple color, but I wanted to add some more interest and texture and a little bit of pattern to my bag. So that's why I'm doing the watercolor pieces because I just thought it would be really fun. Once my pieces are attached to the bag, this is what it looks like. I'm going to use the Tombow Extreme tabs again to glue down the the flippy bit or whatever. Um, it works really well. I love those tabs. They hold really, really strongly and you can see we have a little pocket now. I really enjoy creating things for my pen pals to include in Happy Mail, so I'm going to be altering this little Tombow notebook. Here you can see how I use that watercolored photo paper again. I'm just going to adhere down this little front panel piece. I use the Mono Twin to write on notes. I'm not much of a letterer, but I try, you guys. I try so hard. I think this one turned out pretty cute, though. I also created this little folder. I went ahead and adhered the candy corn pattern paper onto the front, and right now I'm just using the Tombow Extreme to adhere down the sides of the pockets. And I am double matting this trick-or-treat um, die cut onto some black cardstock and then onto some leftover watercolor paper that we had. And this will go on the front of my little file folder. And I think it turns out so cute and kind of helps tie everything Everything in together which is nice. Next it was time to start filling up the little file folder because I can't not include some goodies for my pen pals so I'm just layering up some washi. I do this all the time. I feel like <laughs> I'm always layering up washi you guys. Uh, but anyway the Tombow Extreme glue runner works really great if you're gluing on top of glitter. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse by telling you guys this, but it really is my favorite for gluing on top of hard to glue on surfaces. So I've just filled up the little file folder with some little photos and things like that. Fun stuff for my pen pal. Here I'm just adding some little line detailing around the edges of my bag with the fine point of the mono twin. And I really like this doily. It's from my stash. I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to use it, and I think this is it glued on the big candy corn that we made earlier and now I'm just adding in some little bits for my pen pal. Some more washi because I can't not. 
and I like to mirror the washi. If I use it on one side, I like to use it on the other. Um, just to kind of balance things out. The sweet sticker worked perfectly on the front, and I did adhere the bottom of the S again with some more Tombow Extreme. And the little candy corn sticker wants to keep falling off, so I'm just using the Tombow Extreme again. I, you guys, it's like my favorite adhesive. I use it constantly. Um, I used the Extreme tabs to back up that little brad that I altered. I don't like brads. I rip the backs off of them and use them in different ways now. And yeah, it's time just to kind of bling up this bag. So I've got some different size orange bling, some black, and you can't send happy mail without like a little card or note for your pen pal. So I'm just creating a little simple card here with a folded piece of paper cakes, four by six card from Serena's collections. I'll link it down below for you guys. And I'm using the Tombow Twin Tone to write inside of my card. I'll finish writing in it after the video. And I made the little envelope by repeating that whole watercolor process I shared with you guys earlier, except with the orange and the yellow instead. And now that the outside of my bag flip is all nice and stuffed full, it's time to start filling up the inside. So I added some candy. Those little cupcake liners are so cute. I got those at the dollar store. Some extra little straws so my friend can make her own wands if she wants. I cut down one of these straw wand things um, just so it fit a little bit better since the front pocket isn't very deep. And I'm just adding those other little rosette ones, some glitter ribbon that I think my friend will like, some like little dried marshmallows, more candy because why not, and then that fun little sequin mix that I made that mimics the candy corn colors. So that is it for today's bag flip. If you create any creepy crafty creations this month, make sure to share it with the hashtag creepycraftydays. On Facebook and Instagram, I'll leave links to both of those down below for you guys so you can join the group and follow the Instagram. I'd love to have you guys participate. If you guys would like to see up close pictures of this project, definitely head over to my blog. I'll leave a link to it down below for you guys. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for joining me today for Creepy Crafty Days. If you missed yesterday's video, you can click here to watch it. If you'd like to start the playlist over, you can click right here. And if you'd like to subscribe, course why wouldn't you? You can click right here. I'd love to have you guys follow along. Thank you again so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!